the next, like she DM me. Um, I remember when when Young Boy got out, she was like, I don't I don't know what it is. Like you know, I don't try to get into all this, you know, back and forth with who don't like her, who who. But Cardi B is one of the most personable rappers I've seen. Like if if when I've talked to her, just super fucking down to earth. You know, like she make hey, you call it fake all you want, but it comes off to me like she cares. You feel me? Like yeah, she a real nigga. Yeah, and it's, yeah, not, it's, not, it's not not like she hit you up. To, she not hit you up to like yo post me. Like she had a dance hall party. She was like yo, act you should have been here. This shit was lit. Like yo, like she was like you know offset like all that dancing shit. Like like she was just reach out just to say that with nothing in mind. Like oh I want you to no just just to kind of like let you know. You feel me? Yo, Ak, you think Cardi? We love you, Cardi. We love you. Yo, Ak, you think Party not trying to drop another album because her first album got so much acclaim? Um, I'm gonna be honest about Cardi B. So, so in in the moments when I did talk to her about music, there was a time that you know when she, before she dropped like up and whatever, she was nervous, hundred percent. She was just like, "Yo, I just don't know how how this is gonna like." You know, if people are gonna like it, this and third, and I remember me just saying, "Yo, just drop it." Like, yo, people like you, you know. And I think that was her kind of also reading into sometimes the hate, right? She dropped the first record, and I think people did like it. And um, she dropped the second record, and I don't know. I've just been telling her, "Drop, drop you should drop an album." I don't know why she hasn't dropped an album. I don't know if she tried to have another kid. I have no idea. I feel like she'd be better off just not drop another album like on some Lauren Hill shit. Like just leave your legacy right there. Mm mm. Why not? Cardi can take it way far. She has the potential to drop another good ass album. Because niggas, if you if your next shit is not hot, niggas will trash you for life. I think she's making so much money off this that she doesn't need to drop yet. She's making so much money. And she got too much bread. There's really no reason to fuck shit up. The thing is, she can't go Lauren Hill and not make another album, bro, because she has potential. She has talent. I, yeah, can, like, yo, Lauren who Hill said Lauren Hill is dead? Like, Lauren Hill is definitely not dead, nigga. <laughs> Would no. you say that Cardi B, though, is, like, probably one of the nicest artists that you've talked to? 100%. Do it. 100%. Like, and, and maybe nice is saying the best word. But I, I'm gonna say, well, friendliest then? Would you say friendliest? Yeah, Cause friendliest they... and comes off as as genuine. Like Yadi's yeah. one of them too. It's like they'll they'll talk to you, and it's not like yo, could you post this record? I say Twenty One is too. Like yo, yo, Twenty One will just like call me just to like bullshit. You feel me? Yeah. Like, it's just one of those people who I know when certain artists hit me, it's favorite time. Yo, act. Yo, this. You know what I mean? And, and it's mad fake. And by the way, I'm not saying that, hey, when those other artists do hit me, it's not like they're setting it up for some shit like that. But, you know, when people kind of um, know, like, small things, right? Like, yo, oh, shit. Like, they know things about you that you wouldn't even think they would know. You you kind of realize, like, they, they at least take a little bit more time in trying to understand who the fuck you are. Uh, you like when niggas not trying to be too hard, like too hard for themselves. Like I feel like Twenty One is not trying to be too hard. Like he already know he a real nigga. Yeah, yeah, nah. Like I think Clubhouse helped him too, man. But like, yo, there was a time. You remember the time when everybody just thought this nigga was a killer, bro? Like you remember this? Time, yo, we yeah, were waiting yeah, yeah. for this nigga. Then to he started listening to R and B. Yeah, we, we were waiting for this nigga to catch a body. Like yo, we were just waiting. You know what I mean? He just looked like he was about to shoot a nigga. Like, he used to smile like this with his teeth. Like, he had, like, the gold shit in his mouth. You're like, yo, this nigga look like... This nigga just want to scare somebody. I'm not going to lie. He looked at you one time like that when he was on your podcast, and I thought he was finna eat you. Like, that nigga looked like yo, a monster. Again. <laughs> nah, stop. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Stop it, bro. Stop it. No, he just looked like a monster. I was like, damn, that nigga's really like that. Nah, he just a cool nigga. Like I just feel like he a real nigga. Yeah, nah. Um, nah, nah. Yo, yo. I think I think he understood the industry. I think that's what Narda Wick got a. Um, he got a Wick got a. Um, 
he got to get to. <laughs> Narda Wick got to start realizing, like, bro, that anti-social shit, like, you got to, like, shake it off. By the way, I'm going to say this now. We have a ground, uh, I don't know if it's groundbreaking. We have a, um, the next po- podcast episode, which, by the way, I'm about to get off here, so that's what I'm saying it now. Next podcast episode tomorrow is dropping, um, and we're going to be talking about snitching again. But Pop Hunter is on it, the dude who made the Corvette Corvette song. He's finally telling the story of what happened. And um, I, I think it's going to be a good one. If y'all watch it, it's going to be a, a pretty much a... It, 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 I Yo, like I love how these pa- they, they did my nigga dirty, bro. He was a yeah, cool they, nigga. They blackballed him for no... Yo, they black when, when y'all hear the story of like just how he breaks it down, and you know, you could tell like he's still traumatized. Like the dude admits he was like, "Yo, I was just crying after every one of my shows." Like, it was just, I was like, I don't know. I think unless you're like super gangster that way, like nigga, I'm gonna fuck what you say, nigga. You should have still never told. Unless you're like that, um, I don't know. Maybe you have some sympathy for him, right? But. Yeah, yo, I don't got no Cardi update for y'all today, man. I'm going to try to come back tomorrow.